All my friends have been wondering where I've been. Have you? Please tell me you have. I really need some attention from people in the outer world. Now, before you scroll saying, Ugh, another boring space horror story, I advise you to stay. It's on our planet and has nothing to do with space. Now, shall I begin? It was 2011, April 4th, and I was driving home to save my family from work because I lived in a separate state at the time. I had to stop because I was running low on gas and there conveniently was a motel right next to the station, so I decided to check in and stay the night. So I filled out the tank, got my room key, and went to the elevator. I guess you could call it a hotel, but they advertise it as a motel, so that's why I'm calling it that. It had 13 floors, and no, it isn't going to be a floor, 13 floor scary story. It's been used way too much, and, well, it's not what happened to me. My room was on the fifth floor, and... When I got to my room, it, it was so clean that it might as well be a penthouse. Hardwood floors, queen-sized bed, 50-inch TV. I was living the dream. But I was tired and wanted to see my family, so I fell asleep. Later... I was awoken by the sound of banging on the walls. A text shot up onto my phone saying that it was construction. At the time, I wondered how they got my number. Probably because I paid with card, I thought then. But I was thirsty and forgot to ask, or should I say bring water, so I went out to the hallway and it just felt liminal so vast like like the back rooms uh, anyway I walked into the hallway and went to the elevator it came up surprisingly quick and I chose the first floor obviously but at around level three the elevator stopped and the doors opened I thought another person was coming but there was nobody maybe somebody was coming up but or pulling some kind of prank I thought but then it happened again at the second floor. The elevator stopped and the doors opened. And this time though, I caught a glimpse of a kid's arm. I thought about running after him, but it'd be immature of me to do that. Plus the next stop was level one. Finally, the elevator stopped and the doors opened. As I was about to walk out, I saw a shadow of a tall, lanky man with a fedora. I was about to talk to the man when he spoke, and his voice, his voice was that of a demon, an entity of evil. He had said, Jesse Matthews, employer, nightlife, spouse, none, kids, none, parents, Jake and Kathy Matthews. Why did you stop at this motel? 
resting from a long trip. He, he, he knew my name. My employer, he, he knew everything. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, that's so cringe. <laughs> and I would too. But if this actually happened to you, like, actually, actually happened to you, you'd be terrified. Then, he spoke again. I'll let you live, but with one cost. Explore my new discovery. The reality of portals. If you somehow escape them, you'll live to see another day. If you don't, we'll just say entities are lurking. So it connects the back rooms, SCP, Slenderman. You know it. They've got it. So, are you ready? As soon as he was done speaking, he turned around and rushed towards me, pushing me back into the elevator. His face was so distorted and grotesque. His eyes a pale blue, reminiscent of a friend of mine, and his clothes including his fedora, all torn and tattered up. The elevator started to go berserk. The floor nervers errored and glitched, the elevator plummeting closer and closer to the ground until... nothing. The doors opened as usual, and it was day. And it was at the motel. I somehow have my key and the one thing I brought in my gift from my aunt they all live together I gave the receptionist the key and she wishes me a good day she looks incredibly different though I shrug it off at the time and finish the drive to my family's but as soon as I walk in the door, they ask who I am. The man with the suit and fedora is in my place. He winks and says, Escape while you can. 